first question. Released in 1965, the Randy 720 was the first sneaker designed specifically for what sport? Was it A, skateboarding, B, soccer, or C, sailing? I think that's going to be B, soccer. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. That is incorrect, Bill. The answer we were looking for was A, skateboarding. That was my third choice, Mr. Quizzer. Well, it's number one in my heart. Manufactured by the Randolph Rubber Company, the Randy 720 touted a tough toe and heel for the rising sport of sidewalk surfing. It was the official sneaker of the National Skateboard Championship, which crowned its first women's champion, Patty McGee, that same year. I will not make that same mistake twice. <laughs> hey, let's stay in the swinging 60s. What sneaker giant was founded in 1964 as Blue? Blue Ribbon Sports. Was it A, Adidas, B, Nike, or C, Reebok? I'm gonna go with C, Reebok. Ooh, oh. swoosh and a miss. I'm sorry, Bill. It was Nike. University of Oregon track athlete Phil Knight co-founded Blue Ribbon Sports with his coach, Bill Bowerman. They initially imported and sold shoes from Japan. In 1971, they changed their name to Nike and began making their own running shoes. Hey, it's time to go to court. The basketball court. <laughs> Launched in 1973, the Puma Clyde was named in honor of what NBA star? Was it A, Walt Frazier, B, Julius Irving, or C, Clyde the Glide Drexler? Well, it is Clyde the Glide, so I'm gonna go with Clyde Drexler. Ooh, no, I'm sorry, oh. Bill. It's a tricky one, but the Puma Clyde was actually the signature shoe of Knicks legend, Walt Clyde Frazier. He earned that nickname as an NBA rookie because he would wear fedoras like Clyde from Bonnie and Clyde. He looked pretty sporty in them too, didn't he? <laughs> he sure did. 